Today I'm demonstrating the Synopsys Designer IP prototyping kit for Mi PCSI2 host with an Arc software development platform. This kit provides the essential hardware and software elements needed to reduce Mi PCSI2 IP prototyping and integration effort, so you can start implementing the IP in an SOC in minutes. The kit includes a Synopsys Hubs DX FPGA-based prototyping system with pre-configured IP and SOC integration logic, a 4-lane Mi PD5 daughterboard, simulation test bench, reference drivers and application examples. This kit also includes a 32-bit DesignWare ARC processor-based software development platform running Linux. Here is the Hubs DX FPGA-based system, Mi PD5 daughter card and ARC software development platform. The kit includes two SD cards. The first SD card includes DesignWare CSI2 host controller IP and associated SOC integration logic to plug into the Hubs DX platform. A second SD card, which I'll plug into the Arc software development platform, holds the MIPI CSI2 host drivers and application examples that run on the processor platform. The MIPI D5 daughter card allows you to connect the hardware prototype to real-world devices like our Omnivision camera here. The two boards are connected with a high-speed interconnect cable that represents the XI tunnel. All IP development kits are compatible with most software development tools, so software engineers can start driver and firmware development in their preferred environment. To see the IP prototyping kit for Mi PCSI2 host in action, I'm going to use the HDMI output port from the Arc software development platform to stream the live camera image to the LCD monitor. I can easily operate the Linux console from the software development platform peripherals like a keyboard and mouse. I'll install the CSI2 host driver, the Omnivision camera driver and configure a 20 MHz reference pixel clock for both devices into Linux kernel. The driver is now installed, so I can run some applications available on the Linux image, such as Yafta, Mplayer and Mencoder. Those tools contain all the logic and programming sequences to help bring up the CSI2 host controller and support driver debug. The Yafta application allows you to get useful information about the current device configuration. After selecting the Mplayer application, especially if you are using a camera, you can view the generated image in the LCD using the HDMI output from the Arc software development platform. In this example, we are enabling the video DMIA block implemented on the IP prototyping kit. Similar to the M player, the main coder provides a video recording feature to generate a video file that you can view in another system at any time. Synopsys provides these application examples and related source codes within the IP prototyping kit so that designers can modify, update or even create their own application to suit their needs. The IP prototyping kit allows you to explore many different scenarios. In terms of signal path processing, the signal is being generated by the Omnivision camera and then captured from the Phi analog interface which is then properly transmitted to the CSI2 controller. The data is then processed in a video remapping block to be adapted from 48 to 32 bits and provided to the video DMA. The video data is then copied to the ARC internal memory platform for video processing. And finally, mPlayer processes the data and displays it on the LCD using the available software development platform's HDMI output. As you can see, this kit works fine out of the box. However, designers can modify the IP configuration for their own applications, using a set of tools for a fast iteration flow. This flow uses the Synopsys Core Consultant tool with a simple GUI interface to change the configuration, generate RTL and verify the IP integration, using the simulation test bench environment provided with the kit, all in about one hour. Core Consultant allows designers to change or select the configuration through a simple GUI. This intuitive interface guides you through the available options for fast reconfiguration turnaround time. When you are finished, clicking Apply generates the RTL. The IP prototyping kit includes a Protocompiler DX intuitive GUI interface used for design synthesis or tickle scripts to expedite the process and complete the placing routes. Once the design is modified and reloaded in the SD card, 
you can check key internal signals and status registers. The IP prototyping kit comes pre-instrumented to capture relevant signals using deep trace debug. This capability gives designers the ability to view several seconds of waveforms to speed up debug interactions. This is done by taking advantage of 8GB DRAM on the HAPS TX FPGA based system. The DRAM captures RTL waveforms that can be viewed on popular hardware debuggers, such as Synopsys Verdi or most other waveform viewer tools. After you've completed your software and hardware development, the IP prototyping kits can easily connect through an AXI tunnel to a HAP70 platform, creating a large SOC prototype. You have seen how the Designer IP prototyping kit for me PCSI2 OS provides immediate productivity for both hardware engineers and software developers. Thank you for watching.